Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Celtic are doing business. We have recently just signed um, Bio or Bio, depending on how you say it. I personally say Bio and I will say that until he comes out and confirms how you say his name. Um, but it doesn't really matter what way you say his name. Celtic are doing business, which is good. Um, we've brought in Timothy, we, uh, we've brought in Bio. We're getting linked today, an American midfielder, Trap. I think, and we're also getting linked to a 22 year old for Portsmouth centre back. So it could be if we complete all these signings, this could be one of the best January transfer windows for Celtic, especially the way the Rangers are trying to fucking they're trying to make sure they stop the 10 this season and they're throwing everything at it by signing 34 year olds and 36 year olds. But, um, aye, Bale is signed. Um, I'm extremely happy, <laughs> extremely happy. Uh, I can't contain my excitement um, because I don't know, I didn't know the guy till we were linked to him, right? But see the videos, there was like obviously as soon as we were linked to him, people were putting these stats up, videos air on this season and all that. And uh, watching the videos, it's like, I was like, ah, so he's for Ivory Coast, he's a striker. And he can heather a ball at that, <laughs> and he scores 18 and 23. Hmm. I think we've basically signed like the next Drogba, and this time I've no made that mistake because I'm like this is a, I've been told this right. Drogba was gonna sign for Celtic in 2003, and his agent kind of told him you only get into that Celtic team. There's no point in signing. You'll be a reserve basically because they had Larson, Hartson, and Sutton. He says you only get in. And then he goes away, signs for that League 1 team that he signed for, and then eventually signs for Chelsea and becomes a world class striker, uh, scoring more than 100 goals for Chelsea. So Celtic haven't made that mistake this time, which is very good in my opinion. So obviously he's playing in the Slovakian League, scoring 18 and 23 in all competitions, but see, to be honest, this is what I was, I was saying in the, the podcast. If you haven't watched it, check it out. <laughs> But this is what I was saying, I mean, like, people are like, oh, it's the Slovakian league, but to be honest, their league could easily be the same quality as ours, it could, it could even be, like, harder than ours. People just seem to go, oh, it's the Slovakian league and assume that it's shite, do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about this and I'm like, hmm, it could end up actually being alright and he could end up playing brilliant here, say, so like, if it, like, because obviously I don't know, I don't watch the Slovakian league who does unless you're Slovakian, but it could easily be, like, the same as... Not the same as Eton, it, but in fact it could be the same as your league, kinda, in a way, if you know what I mean. But, um, well, and he could end up thriving after that here, like he could end up playing brilliant, and you don't know what's gonna happen, to be honest. So, well, basically, from what I've seen, he seems like a, a brilliant striker that can heed a ball, get in the air, and he's also good at finishing, and that's what we need because Celtic have kinda missed that aerial. Sorry for fucking about my hair, but Celtic Cer have missed that aerial presence since Dembele left because Edward, the many heaters has he scored, exactly no much, but Dembele scored quite a lot of heaters and it's, that's what we kind of need. And we need that, that guy that could be the target striker for Edward to play half on the left um, and that's what we were missing when Dembele left. That's how Edward fell off because he was playing so well next to Dembele because he likes to drift off to the left when he's up front with another person. And then Barry was that target man that would get the ball and get it out to him. That's what, how did we beat Rangers at Ibrox 3 2? Because Edward was out in the left and Barry plays it out to him. So hopefully, it, like, Bale or Bio, however you prefer, could be. Well, I seen an article saying he could be the next Barry, but I'm thinking he could be the next Drogba with the videos that I'm seeing him. And this is what I'm saying. I'm sticking to that. The next Drogba is what I'm sticking to. So hopefully he could do that, you know, like fill that void that we had, um, and actually we could actually score for heaters and free kicks now. That, that's interesting. Um, we don't actually need to always rely on centre back scoring from set pieces for us. And even at that, how frequently does that happen? Not very frequently. <laughs> so hopefully, that's the ice cream van. <laughs> but hopefully he can do that. I think you know what I'm talking about with that void, like. When was the last time we scored a heater with Edward? 
or something man. like Sinclair doesn't score heaters, James Forrest doesn't even go for heaters, he doesn't even jump, he goes up in his heels and if he doesn't reach it then he doesn't reach it and he's about 5 foot 6 or something, <laughs> I think he might be a bit taller than that, but that's like, he doesn't even go for heaters, he doesn't make an effort and it's annoying for us, so hopefully that's it, hopefully we've got this guy that we can cross the ball into and he just heaters it in the back of the net, and for cross he he does it in the back of the net and he can hold up defenders and use his body and he don't own so that's what we missed with them barely uh, people that watch my videos will know that I always go back to this man city game but that's what we kept doing with them barely just punt it up to them barely and he'd be bringing it down we were just attacking it man city like that so it could be good for Europe as well then because we could just do it the exact same <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm hoping for with us, he seems like he could be brilliant and obviously we just brought in Timothy Weir yesterday and we've got Edward, this could be a mental season or it could be a failure of a season but I feel like it will be a mental season because I think Timothy Weir could end up being brilliant if Bale or Bio's brilliant or all brilliant <laughs> then Edward, Edward will probably thrive off a like uh, Bale signing, so hopefully he steps his game up as well. Now that he's signed, no need, no like step his game up that he's gonna like throw him at the team. Step his game up because he's got to play better because he's got him next to him. Um, so all in all, I think this has already been a good transfer window. It looks like it's gonna improve as well, which will be good. Um, the the potential of his signing that trap. Um, and the Portsmouth centre back, it seems like it could be very good. Um, but I'm I've been repeating myself, so I'll have to wrap up the video. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you've made it this far um, on what you think of Bio and Way signing, and I'll see you in the future. Bye bye.